before, just days after a nine-year-old drowned in an apartment pool, there was a renewed push to teach more kids how to swim. The USA Swimming Foundation says more than 60% of black and Latino children cannot swim, but local groups are working to change that. I like being in the water. But eight-year-old Jamie Vital admits before she started swimming lessons... Well, I didn't have that much confidence as I have now. Exposure is everything. If they're not exposed to it or they don't have the resources to do it, there's no way they're going to learn how to swim. Melissa Wilborn with DeKalb Aquatics Tiger Swim School is working to change that. She's partnered with USA Swimming Foundation. The goal nationwide, save lives by teaching more children, especially black and Latino children, to swim. Every time I turn on the news and I see a kid drowning, I, I cringe because it's absolutely preventable. And that's why this is so important. According to the Atlanta-based Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, black children between the ages of 5 and 14 are just about three times as likely to drown than white children. Just last week, 9-year-old Jericus Wyatt drowned at an apartment swimming pool one day before his 10th birthday. His family, the entire community, devastated. It breaks my heart. It actually breaks my heart. It makes me want to do more. Wilborn herself swam competitively, making it at one point to the Olympic trials. She says this is her passion, and money shouldn't stand in the way of being safe. We do some lessons where we have uh, kids that can't pay at all. We have to break that cycle. Now, in the coming weeks, Wilborn's group will be working out of a new indoor facility to be able to offer more lessons for kids that might not otherwise be able to afford it.